You're watching AGSN. I'm Suzanne Runyon. I hope you have an awesome day. By the way, go to Suzanne Runyon on Facebook. Not my private page, but my public page, Suzanne Runyon on Facebook, and follow me there. Um, we do a lot of crazy stuff. I'm doing some shows that are, aren't even on HSN television. In fact, tomorrow I go live from my house at, no wait, that would be today because it's Tuesday, right? I go live from my house at 4 p.m. and I do this whole kind of chat and craft HSN. It's a really fun experience and we just sort of hang out for about an hour. And then I have a show at 9.30 every Tuesday night, East Coast time, that I do from here in the studio that's only on HSN's Facebook page. And it's really cool because it's an intimate look at crafting ideas. I've got products that have never, ever been on the air before every Tuesday night. And it's a whole lot of fun. So again, four o'clock live from my house and then 9.30, tune back into Facebook and you can see my crafting show, which is only on HSN's Facebook page, which is pretty darn cool. All right, let's talk about something that's really cool. All right, so I am such, um, what am I gonna say? Uh, kind of a nerd. Not as nerdy as my guest who's joining me, Mike Mizak. <laughs> and he's okay with me saying that. But I've really become a big coin collector and it's because of Mike and because of doing these shows. And I was so thrilled because I was able to get type one and type two of probably what has become some of the most famous American silver eagles ever made. And there is a crazy good story behind it. Um, and I was thrilled, I've got two sets. I've got the beginning, the end and the beginning, believe it or not, and Mike's gonna explain why it's so exciting. But he brings us a limited edition of another version that's very unique and distinct, and we're gonna get to that in just a couple of moments. I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up that will be coming up. If you do not know the type one, type two story, it is absolutely, the freakiest thing that happened to the mint in a very, very long time. And so Mike's gonna share us uh, with all the details in just a moment. But we're gonna start with this. And I love it when we start with these kind of things because look at this, this is a coin, believe it or not. And when you see it up close, you're gonna go, get out of here, that can't be. Oh man, really, really close, because it's super cool. It's called Phil Lewis Fish of the Second Chakra. It's a $5 silver coin, and we've got it available right here, and it is a limited edition of only 1,500 worldwide. Well, I tease Mike a lot, but actually he's one of the world's leading and foremost coin authorities. He's been with us for many, many decades. He's been talking about coins. He's one of the biggest experts out there and Mike it is so fabulous to see you are you sitting in your law library yes I am <laughs> studying for the bar oh good Second your career. next your next adventure <laughs> right <laughs> well welcome I'm so happy you're here hey this yeah. is probably one of the coolest coins I've seen in a long time yeah I mean it, we we have a, a great relationship with uh, uh Pamp Suisse which is a company obviously in Switzerland that makes, I think, the finest uh, uh, silver and gold and platinum and palladium uh, coins in the world today. I think this is a perfect example of that. Phil Lewis, very famous, uh, very famous artist. They went to him and wanted him to design some specific coins. And uh, this particular coin is the fish. I don't know if you're a yoga uh, person or not, but you know they have the seven uh, chakras of, mm -hmm. of yoga. Uh, with this, this is the second chakra, also known, I think, as the sacral chakra. Uh, uh, and so this is his interpretation of that. And then they've done that. And, and look, there's only 1,500 from a coin standpoint. It's an ounce of silver. It's a coin. It's a $5 silver coin. But when you look at the production of this, in other words, how it looks and what it's really about, is it's the highest possible quality coins that, that are made, I think, by anybody in the world. The enameling is almost absolutely positively perfect. When you look at the reverse of the coin, there you've got Queen Elizabeth on the reverse of the coin. And one of the things that has become <clears throat> absolutely the, the trademark or the hallmark of the Pomp Suisse coins, everybody always wants to know about the limited edition. <clears throat> 1,500 for this coin. That number down at the bottom, 0751, mm -hmm. every coin is individually serial numbered. Wow. Not just the certificate, not the, the, you know, which is all good and all well, but on the coin itself. So you know exactly, uh, exactly. Now here's the problem with only 1,500 of these, I got, uh, we get, a, usually our, our allocation is 10% of the worldwide mintage, okay? So we get 10% of all the coins made in the world. 
So we had 150 coins. Of course, we put it on hsn.com before we came on the air. I've got 89 coins left. We've already sold 60 on hsn.com before we even get the opportunity to do this. Like I said, highest possible quality, incredible, incredible limited edition. And every detail of this, whether it be the obverse or the reverse, when you look at the reverse of that coin with the, uh, uh, the serial number right on the coin and all of the details around uh, to the outer edges, it is truly, truly spectacular. It's, it's really something special and it's heavy. Oh my gosh, Mike, it's super heavy. That really surprised me. Yeah, isn't me. that crazy? I yeah. mean, it's a big, big, big coin. Like, look how thick it is. Look how thick that coin is. Yeah. Isn't that great? And this enameling, That's and crazy. it's all raised on the top. It's exquisite. So, and there's many of you that we know that love doing the specialty coins, and you tune in to see what Mike's latest one is. Beautifully packaged as well, so you'll get a certificate of authenticity. And again, each and one of these are individually numbered on the coin, which is extra special because normally they don't do that. They'll do an addition, and it's on the certificate, but it's not actually stamped on the coin itself. That makes it extra collectible. Okay, well, I love it when we bring a green box because something big is happening when I see the official green box in the set. But what's more important is probably, Mike, what I think is one of the most interesting stories that you've told in a very long time is why in the world the number one most collected bullion in the world, the American Silver Eagle, would they have a type one and a type two? Now, I know why, because I invested in two sets of type one and type two, and I did it months ago. But there's a lot of people who don't understand the story, and now you have even a new significance on this set. Yeah, uh, let's let's kind of. I guess we ought to tell the whole story, right? Yep. <laughs> uh, in 2019, the United States Mint decided they're going to change the design of the American Silver Eagle. Now, that's a big deal. They are loath to change the design of coins. As a matter of fact, they hadn't changed the design of the American Silver Eagle for 35 years. So when they announced that in 2019 that they're changing it in 2021, we assumed at the time, of course, that it would be at the beginning of 2021. Well, in between 2019 and 2020, uh, 2021 uh, and through 2019, I mean, we had, you know, we had the COVID pandemic. And that has affected the United States Mint in very, very significant ways, particularly in terms of production. Because of the restrictions placed on you know, employment and, and, and social distancing and all of that, they've had to shut down about half the production of the United States Mint. So as they get through 2020, which is supposed to be the last year of the, of the classic design, the type one that you see there on the left-hand side, they realize pretty quickly that they just will not be able to release or launch the new design at the beginning of 2021. So they delay the, the release of the new Silver Eagle, the first design change in 35 years, until July the 1st, 2021. And July the 1st, they finally released the Type 2. Now, this creates many things that collectors have decided have made this the most collectible coin. First of all, the change in design. I mean, that in and of itself is a monstrous thing by the United States Mint when they change the design of a coin. And understand, that makes this a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity as well, because by law, the United States Mint can't change the design again for another 25 years. So literally, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, at least certainly for me, to be able to present a change in the design of the American Silver Eagle. So that is huge. Secondly, they could only produce each one of the first and the last for six months and six months only. Understand if they produced each one for 16 months, it would not be enough. These have been in a constant state of back order, a constant state of unavailability for uh, the full year throughout 2021. I don't think there's any doubt about that. The United States Mint simply can't keep up with design because their production is so phenomenally limited. So any type one, type two design that we have, uh, particularly as a match numbered pair, is incredibly, incredibly desirable and incredibly collectible. But the mint, as they have been doing for about the last two years, is they're just doing they're just doing incredible stuff. And then they did this thing, okay, with these coins. So it's not like they didn't realize that the that the change of design was going to be a monstrous thing. It's been hugely collectible. So they do something they have never ever done before. As they were making the last of the 
classic design type ones, they held back the final 400 boxes, hence the, the green box that you have there. Mm -hmm. And when they started making the new design, they saved the first 400 boxes of that. They made it a special program. Did they released they really? it not to the general public, but just through a series of authorized purchasers huh. that they've got out there. They don't release these. And then, of course, they were sold at significant premiums to distributors, which were ended up in our hands. So what you've got is one of the most significant transitions in American history, where both designs are also dated 2021. And you have the last and the first. And we've always tried to have first day of issue, first release. And those have always been kind of time things because we never knew exactly. They might have been packaged first, but were they the first coins that were made for the very first time in the history of American coinage, not just American Silver Eagles. We know these were exactly the last 400 boxes made and the first 400 boxes made of the new one. And that is absolutely, positively, 100% guaranteed by the United States Mint. They have never, ever done a program like this. So you have an event that is absolutely cataclysmic in the numismatic world, and then they do a program that will probably never be done again. Because, I mean, you know, when are they going to do it in the same year? And the, and the last ones and the first ones are so important. And we've put them together. This is the last quantity. There's 1,587. I think I got about 200 left uh, pairs. Is that it? And this is exclusive, 100% exclusive dust. So not only do you get first 400 boxes, last 400 boxes, but they're also certified absolutely perfect mint state 70. Yeah, now here's something else that's kind of a little side note, but I think it's important. Um, you actually get the display box to go along with it. Normally when you get a single coin, you'll get one box. It's nice that Mike included the case that actually holds both coins in the one box. So you get a beautiful display box. These are always customer picks by themselves. We have a lot of collectors who collect coins in general. They buy his boxes off hsn.com because the quality is there. It's included. But here's what's super exciting about this. I mean, it's really fun. If you, were, if you notice the graphics, this this is what I was noticing when you were talking. Look, from final 400, from first 400 boxes. Now, because these are never released to the public, you and I would never be able to pull this off. We couldn't get the first, we couldn't get the final 400 and know that it's the final 400. And what are we sitting around and get the first 400? We're not be able to, we would have no idea how to get our hands on that. Even really good dealers would have a tough time getting that to happen. Here, Mike has put the two together because literally, that has to go straight to the grading companies without anything touched or unstrapped so they can prove that indeed it's the first four or the final 400 and the first 400 in this collection. And I find that amazing, Mike, that they decided to do something. It's almost like in, within its own uniqueness, they did something even more unique. And I'm sure that kind of surprised all of you who are coin collectors and coin experts. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, as we speak right now, as I'm presenting this now for the second week, I think there's still a pretty significant quantity of dealers and, and the vast majority of collectors that don't even know that this program exists. Really? Uh, because, the, yeah, because the United States Mint didn't announce it. There was no, there was no huh. indication. There was nothing coming out of the Mint that they were going to do this special program. None of that came to bear. All of a sudden, quite literally, out of the blue, I get a phone call from one of the authorized purchasers. So the Mint released these 400 boxes to basically, uh, uh, there's 13 AP or authorized purchasers in the United States. One of them called me and said, guess what we have? Guess what the Mint did? They saved the last 400 boxes from the old design and the first 400 boxes minted from the new design, and they released those as a special edition, you know, and you, in essence, have to buy them by the pair. And it has been one of the single most unique programs ever put out by the United States Mint because it took everybody by surprise. And, and understand what you're really getting here. And I, and I, and I have to understand, and you really have to do this. So... When you, the old design is one thing, okay, and that's collectible and desirable, that's the last coins. But let's really face it, that it is the first 400 boxes of the new design. I wanna focus on that, 
you almost consider the last coin at this price almost a, a, a throw-in, if you will, because let's do the math. So when you look at that new design, and the only way that you can kind of uh, uh, understand what's going on here is let's go back to the new design of the very first, the classic design, so 1986. So take those first coins released by the United States government. Today, and understand the mintages are going to be about the same. The 1986 Eagle and the Type 2 2021 Eagle are going to have about the same mintages. Take that 1986 Eagle. First off, uh, in mint state 70, that coin by itself is probably going to be right now about $1,500 or $2,000 is my guess. But if I had something where I could guarantee that was one of the first four 400 boxes, <laughs> first day of issue, first production of, of that coin, I can promise you that number would be $5,000 a coin or $10,000 a coin. It is an exponential multiplier for the brand new design. And this first year of issue is absolutely critical to the value of this particular coin set. So you have the very first one. Now, here's the secondary part as we have this transition that only happens over a six-month period. Because of the six-month period, a uh, 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 production timeline and the fact that the production lines are in essence cut in half what you have is in my considered numismatic opinion that type 2 coin that you see right there is also going to be the rarest of the type 2 coins for the foreseeable future if not ever if not ever, please wow. understand that, because they only made it half the time at half the production. Starting next year, they will make them for a full year. And as we start going into full production, the, uh, the 2022 coin is going to have two times the mintage, 300% of the mintage, 400%, 500%. That is going to continue in the future. This Type 2 coin, if you take the average mintage of the last 15 years, this coin is five times rarer than the average coin. Wow. And it is the coin that has got the highest demand of any Silver Eagle I have ever seen. So now take that and understand what you have is the first 400 boxes. Now, what's that mean number-wise? That's 200,000 coins. There's 500 coins in a box. So that's 200,000 coins. Now, let's understand what that means. That's about on par for all of the special edition coins put out by the United States government. Reverse proof coins, all of that stuff that you're looking at, uh, basically none of which I can sell you for anywhere near $379.95. Now, that's the mintage alone. Now, keep in mind it's 200,000, but they're mint state 70 and mint state coins are far more difficult to grade than the than the special edition. So you take a reverse proof coin. They're going to grade 60 or 70 percent, probably mint state 70 or RP 70. Mint state coins on average grade about 20 percent 70. Grade about 20 percent mint state 70. Please understand that. That is a huge thing for you to understand, is the fact that it's not just the first 400 boxes, but is the absolute best coins of the first 400 boxes. Now, as the pair, we have the last 400 boxes. So in essence, it's the last 800 boxes, the last 400 made the first 400 made it is that little section of collectability desirability that the united states mint has never offered to the collecting public before and you have to understand in this age of uh, uh, of coin collecting anything the united states government puts out silver eagle wise sells out instantly they just sold the S Mint American Silver Eagle. I think they're 175,000 proof, uh, 175,000 limited edition sold out in three minutes. That coin sells for about $379. Wow. They're about to have, they're about to have a two coin reverse proof set, 125,000. I suspect I'll bring that two coin set. So roughly the same inches. There'll be the same number of 70s. If I can bring that set and offer it here for less than $1,500, I will be truly, <laughs> truly 
amazed. That's what your opportunity is. <laughs> historic change, historic transition, historic series, historic set, certified absolutely positively perfect. And this set 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. And I'll tell you, Mike, what's really interesting is I have the type one and type two, as you know, and I got two sets of them when we first launched it. When we first launched it, it was up to Mike to make sure I got the type two. Because when we launched it, you bought the type one and the type two was an auto ship. And so everyone was waiting. Mike only had a rough idea of when that type two was gonna be released. And my story is so strong and so brilliant. That's why I have two sets. This takes it to a whole new level. So if you've collected the type one and type two that we've sold already this year, this is absolutely such a finite subset to what already is just crazy popular. They, can, they, they have not even made enough to actually, to, to fill the quantity of the people and the need that's out there. That is how momentous this occasion was when they decide they're gonna make two darn coins in the same year. They've never done that before. And then you take it and take it to the next level. The last 400 boxes the first 400 boxes, and it's known specifically. Mike, that's another really key to this that's so important to understand because a lot of people might say it's this, they might say it's that, but it's very specific. When you have that on there, that means a lot to people who understand the value of coin collecting. Well, and, and understand, it's not something that's speculative in any way, shape, or form. Yes. In terms of, is this the first 400 or the last 400? The United States Mint announced they're the first 400. They actually marked the boxes separately, okay, that says first 400, last 400, okay? It actually said, well, it doesn't say first, but it has a special, uh, a BP is what it has on the label. They have specific box numbers, and those box numbers have been published. So we know exactly the coins. But as you said, you have to send the entire box in, and then the grading Unopened. company has to Unopened. unseal the box yes. is what it comes down to. And so that's really critically important for you to understand what that is and what the difference is uh, between that. So not only do you have the type one and type two, like you said, which is momentous, which is historic. It's never happened before. That in and of itself, and the United States Mint can't keep up with that design. But then having the foresight, because understand to save the last 400 boxes, they had to put those away for months. Because they just released these. The last 400 boxes were probably made in April, mm -hmm. something like that. So May, June, July, August, they held them for at least four months. And the first boxes were probably made in May, at the beginning of May. So they had to hold those boxes, May, June, July, August. So they had to hold these boxes. And then at the last minute, they had to say, OK, guess what? They were trying to do this great surprise. And it was. Here's the secondary thing that they did. When they, when they released this and they made the initial release to the authorized purchasers, the United States Mint charges a premium for Silver Eagles over the metal price. What's called, it's called the premium. They raised the premium in that initial release by 400%. Oh, no kidding. By 400%. Hundred percent. They've never done that before. Wow. So obviously that they knew what they had. Yeah, they knew it was going to be a big deal. <laughs> they, they knew it was a big deal. I mean, the fact that they guarantee the very first and the very last. In the past, we do what we can. Okay, it's from the first thirty days. It's from the first forty-eight hours. You know, it's right. one of the first five hundred. You know, we 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 try to do this through the Freedom of Information Act requests, all that stuff. They told us right out of the chute exactly. <laughs> what we had and how to identify it. We were able to do that. And even though they did it, since it was not released to the general public, the vast majority of coin dealers don't even know this program exists. And I guarantee you the vast majority of collectors have no idea. You are in on the ground floor here, folks, on something that most people have absolutely no idea exists in one of the most significant coin events of our lifetime and a singular a singular numismatic event in our lifetime, seeing as how they're not going to be able to change the design again for at least another quarter of a century. So this is this embodies everything. And every issue the Mint puts out sells out in two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, one minute. I mean, they're actually doing the inspector general is looking at the United States Mint to say, how can we do this? 
so that everything doesn't sell out instantaneously. And that's the problem for you to get. Well, I've got these, I've got them here, I've got them in stock. I think that's really critically important. This is exclusive to us, 1,587 sets. I think we have a couple of hundred sets is all that remain that in this true. exclusive and you annex. Know what? transition set first and last. And Mike, let me just add one more thing. Right now you can see we have three flex pays on the screen and that's great. You can spread your payments out over three months and that's how you pay it off. You get them right away because they are in stock. He has them. Um, if you want, you can actually get your HSN card out and you can get nine months of what's called VIP financing. So it's like kind of like nine months of flex pay. You can use your Zulily or your Q card as well. $42.22. And again, here's what I did is guys, I grabbed my two sets i do not have this because this is now a very exquisite subset of what i was really proud to have two sets of that's how big it is i've never bought doubles of anything well i buy single <laughs> coins you bet but when i stocked up and bought two of them and remember i had to wait because mike did not know when the type 2 was exactly coming out now because it's mike i knew it was going to come to my door in fact mike funny story because i haven't talked to you since then um a package arrived and i thought what in the world is it it was kind of heavier than normal and I was like, well, I know it's not clothing. <laughs> I know it's not jewelry. And I opened it up. I was like, yes, it was my type two coins. I was so excited that I have that first and that last. But now, not only do you have the first and last design, you have the first and last of the quantity. That to me is That's so right. cool. Yeah. And understand it's not one or the other. It's not an either or situation. These are 100% complementary. I mean, yeah, you have the regular set and then you have this special subset, call it the first edition or a uh, artist proof, or I don't know what, yeah, what, what, what other, I, I can only think in numismatic terms, <laughs> you know, first 400 boxes, flash 400 boxes makes a lot of sense to me, but you know, to try to uh, uh, kind of explain how that works. Like I said, this is the this is the rarest of the rare. So you've got this incredible numismatic event, this this important numismatic event, this transition of the American Silver Eagle. Like I said, for the one time in 60 years, we're going to have this. This will be at a once in 60 year opportunity. That's a huge deal. The fact that the way it worked out is that both of those coins were made in the same year. That's not the way it was supposed to be. So it cuts the production down. So they're already incredibly rare. But then we have this tiny little subset of even greater rarity, even greater collectability and desirability. And that's what this set really embodies and is a great opportunity. That's kind of fun. And you got to imagine, too, he has to get, well, remember, they're dividing amongst, what, 13 dealers? Then Mike gets his gets a hold of his quantity, and then a whole bunch of those are rejected to get down to what we have here. So it's literally right. thousands of dollars that gets rejected to actually be a perfect coin. So you have to understand, again, that's highly unusual when you have to lose so many coins in the process to get to a perfect 70. And both of these are absolutely perfect, and they're rated as that. Don't forget, you do get the box to go along with it. Unfortunately, this could be a sellout here pretty quickly. We only have a couple of hundred left. So it's your chance tonight to get something that's extraordinary. And then do your research. I know for a lot of us, you might be new to coin collecting and you're like, I don't get it, but it sounds important. Get it at home. If you don't absolutely love it, you can still return it in 30 days and we will give you your money back. But the opportunity is here tonight while we have it available. And that is exciting. Hey, Mike, just really quickly, I know we also have the same kind concept though but these are 69s right well you have to understand i mean you know uh, as we explained that you had to grade the box you had to get the whole box that way you get a holder the coin they're still mint state 69 so you have to send the whole box so you can't have an uncertified guaranteed first last 400 boxes that just can't happen okay so we certified everything i mean we're actually going to eventually have just uncirculated coins Every single one of these coins, regardless of grade, brings a premium. The Mint State 69s, let's say you just have to have that transition set. You just have to have the first 400 boxes, last 400 boxes. And let's say it doesn't have to be Mint State 70. Now, you know, most people grade the high, uh, buy the, and collect the highest grade they can afford. But Mint State 69, they're still absolutely stunningly gorgeous coins. And as you can see, 
uh, at significantly less money. I mean, I talk about it all the time. The higher the grade, the more it's worth. What a perfect example of that. Well, if the grade is, is, is an important, but the event is what you're collecting. And, and a lot of people do that, type collectors and that type of thing. This is the perfect opportunity for you to do that. That only 1,208 of these coins, only 1,208 of these coins are going to be mint state 69, and the pair of those also at $239.95, $239.95, just an absolutely positively fabulous opportunity uh, uh, for you to hear. To still own the collection, still understand what you get, still get the unique Mint program. Look, the Mint's never done this before. This whole, you know, uh, 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 identifying the last 400 boxes and the first 400 boxes, and I do want to focus in, that first 400 boxes is a huge, huge deal, because it's the first coins in the first year, in the first coin of the new Silver Eagle, the first to the first to the first. I cannot impress upon you enough how important that is for future collectability among us coin nerds. That is a huge, huge, huge deal. I promise you. Well, and I think, you know, this is so much fun because you have this very unique opportunity to be able to get a, a piece of, um, you know, American history and then, again, let it sit. I mean, that's what I do. I've got all my coins all collected up, and I'm just going to hang on to them. I'm sure I'm going to um, then eventually give them to my son, Ethan, um, to hold on to because these are magnificent stories, and they're really special times. This last, what I would say, year has been crazy uh, and thus this ripple effect of this type one and type two and the the amazing story behind that uh, like who knew that was ever going to happen and then they snuck away these 800 cases which I think is really amazing and said you know what we're going to hold on to these and they're going to ask premium for that and now Mike was able to secure them and you can get them here at HSN of course we have three flex pays and something else to understand too is if you were to buy these if you could find them anywhere which typically would be very difficult. Number one, you and I can't get a hold of these things unless we do it through somebody like Mike, right? But let's say you could magically get a hold of these things. You went to a dealer, bought them, and you brought them back in about 10 or three weeks. Trust me, the dealer's going to laugh at you if you want your full refund. <laughs> it's money, for gosh sakes. He's going to make a profit on a return. We don't do that. We're going to give you your money back. Whatever you paid for it, we're going to return those to If you return them to us, we're going to give you your money back. And that's very different than how a dealer would approach that. And, Mike, I think that's why, for so many years, we've had hundreds and millions of dollars of coins sold here at HSN, because we're not going to monkey around with people, as opposed to having to return it to a dealer dealer who's certainly going to come out uh, advantageous versus you. <laughs> Well, and, and understand, a 30-day money-back guarantee in the coin world is is, is very unusual. Uh, because understand, we never want you to have a coin that you're not proud to pass down to the next generation. I mean, understand that. These goes from mothers and, and fathers to sons and daughters and nieces and nephews, from aunts and uncles and grandparents to grandchildren. I mean, that's what these are generational collectibles. And if you don't feel that it meets those standards, I insist that you send it right back. I mean, I think that's really, really, really important that you get exactly what we say and exactly the grade that we uh, that we say it is. And then everything has to match up. And if that does, then you keep it. And if you don't, just send it back. I don't want you to have a coin. I never want you to have a coin that you're not proud to pass down to the next generation. Yeah, I'd love that. All right, and so we have something else that's also very, very unique. You can see it's very different from the last couple of coins we just saw. But again, we're talking about a perfect coin. This is a Type 2 Silver Eagle with the dual core holder. So what makes this one important? Why did you feature this in the show tonight? Well, first of all, it's the Type 2 coin. And, yeah. and, I, and I've told you this, Type 2s are sold out. The United States government allocates these, okay? So these APs say, I want 1,000 boxes. They said, that's fabulous. We'll give you 150. Uh, <laughs> and so they've been in short supply. They've been complete and total sellouts, both the Silver Eagles and the Gold Eagles, since July the 1st. And understand, they're about to start making 2022 coins. There, there's a tremendous shortage. So what we did, this was such an important numismatic event. So we grade at NGC and Annex and PCGS, all the major grading companies, of which there's four. And we went to them and said, look, this is a brand new coin. We want to do something for this coin nobody's ever done before. 
So we did a what is called a dual core. Nobody's ever done it before. There's been specialty cores. The core is what holds the coin there. So you see we had that walking Liberty core that with the black background, I think is the most gorgeous uh, a holder for a coin anyway. These are NGC Mint State 70s. We then put another core on the back that marks the new design where it's like the, e the wings of the eagle is holding up the Type 2 coin that you see right there. So we've got the Eagle Landing T2 means Type 2, certified Mint State 70. Now, I want you to understand this dual core holder is 100% exclusive to my company. We designed it. I helped design this, as a matter of fact, is, is what it comes down to. We spent months with NGC trying to come up with something that meets kind of all that standards of collectability. So now you've got this first change in the American Silver Eagle, the very first year of design. And I, and I hate to do this, but let's go back to the first year of design of the, of the Type 1. So that's 1986. Now, mintages of American Silver Eagles have exploded over the last 35 years. So that the average mintage over the last 15 years is about four times, roughly four times what the 1986 mintage is. But remember, I told you, there were unique circumstances with the release of this coin. It was only released halfway through the year, so it was only made for six months. And secondly, because of the COVID pandemic and everything involved, the mint's production has been slashed as well, their capacity to make coins. And so what's going to happen uniquely with this is the very first year of this new design is from a mintage standpoint going to match up with the first year of the old design of the 1986 now, here's the difference. They're going to have the same mintage, first design of this, last design, uh, and then the first design of the new coin. So you have the first of the Type 1 and the first of the Type 2. Let's go back to 1986. In Mint State 69, I can sell you that coin for about $169. One grade lower, still 40 bucks more, maybe $199. But in Mint State 70 NGC, i got to be at least $1,000. I have to be at least $1,000. Same mintage, same numismatic significance being the first year of issue, same grade Mint State 70, and then we've got this gorgeous holder that's exclusive, 100% exclusive to me as well anyway. So you've got the Type 2, you've got the dual core holder, the exclusive dual core holder, you've got it in Mint State 70, you've got the first year of issue, you've got the transition, and here's the thing, and I know I say this, when people think, well, of course, but it's not, of course. We have them in stock ready to ship. That is a huge deal. I told you the United States Mint has been significantly, significantly behind in production. What that leads to is shortages throughout the marketplace and people selling coins they don't have and may never have. Understand, there are people right now, I absolutely, positively, 100% guarantee that are purchasing coins that they will never get. And they may or may not never even get their money back on those coins. You buy this coin and it's going to ship right out there in stock, ready to ship. Mint State 70, I've got coins. We've pulled every string that we have to make sure that we almost always have coins in stock and even. With everything that we're able to do, even with all of our connections, even with everything that we bring to bear in terms of resources and connections, we still occasionally run out of American Silver Eagles. Right. There's, it's just not possible. The, the demand is overwhelming, is Wait, swamping. Mike, can I ask you this question, though? Is it frustrating to you to see people uh, selling people on reserving their Type 2 coin? Yes, particularly because the Type 2s are out. Now, sometimes we have to do it for a new program, okay? So, like, for instance, we own the coins for the first last, but we won't be able to ship them for maybe a week or something like that because they're at the grading company, okay? Right. They're still getting graded. The grading companies are month. If you send a coin into NGC right now to get graded, it's probably going to be five months. No kidding. To get a coin back. Wow. Yeah. If you send it to PCGS, I don't know if you're ever going to get it back. <laughs> and I love PCGS, don't get me wrong. Uh, because they have not only the coins, but, you know, they have the sports collectibles, the sports cards. 
PCGS, from what I heard, have three million sports cards sitting there waiting to be graded. What? Oh my god. Yeah. Like a billion points. But a lot I mean, of dealers, it, what they crazy. do so is they'll say, hey, them. reserve it, hoping that uh, they'll be able to get some. And they maybe will and maybe won't. That's the thing. We have the coins. We have the access to the coins. We have the money for the coins. That's a huge deal. Because, you know, in a world like this, it's not like, oh, well, send me one box. They go, hey, you got to buy 10 boxes. So when we did the first lasts, right? Right. So we did the first last. And we go, so what do we need to do? Well, the first thing you need to do is wire us a million dollars. And then we'll talk. Well, okay then. <laughs> you know, sometimes you go, well, let me get back to you. Let me talk to my partner. Let me assess what's going on. I just said, sure. Right. On the first last that we had. Right. When we get coins, like I got a call. They said, we have some gold eagles, $5 gold eagles. We'll have them for the next show. They've been out of stock for months. Wow. They said, uh, I have 300 coins. I'll buy them. You want to know the price? Does it really matter? I mean, <laughs> does it really matter? You have coins, right? Okay, so right. I know you'll be fair with me, or I hope you'll be fair with me. And and so that's what the coin market is like right now. If you have coins, it is a significant situation. And then you have perfect coins. So remember, mint state coins don't tend to grade perfect mint state 70 at the same level that other coins do, particularly proof coins and some of the special issue coins. So you have to buy, to get a 1,000 of these, you have to buy thousands and thousands of these coins to be able to do that. So now you have this first year of issue. You've got it in the special holder. You've got it Mint State 70. You know, like I said, you've got it dual core. This is, I think, the most impressive way uh, uh, to collect the brand new American Silver Eagle look. I know it seems approachable right now because we are in the year. Just wait until they start making the 2022s and the 2021s are officially sold out. No more allocations, no more releases, nothing. Wait till next year when all of these type twos, everybody's going, well, where are they all? Well, we sold them all. Where are you going to get them? Understand while they're desirable right now, understand what it's going to be six months from now, a year from now, two years from now, four years from now. Look, I was there in 1986 selling the original Silver Eagle. Uh, silver was three bucks an ounce. So, I mean, you know, Silver Eagles were, you know, uh, you know, $30, you know, at the right, time, right. Uh, a little different uh, uh, calculus than it is today. Uh, and nobody certified coins in 1986. And even then, people were trying to put them back, and that's exactly what's going to have. You need to pick this up, get this in your collection, get it now while it's affordable, while it's available, in perfect condition, in the exclusive holder. Participate in history, folks, and that's what you're doing. This is historic, a historic numismatic opportunity. Well, and also with just a just a handful available, this is a unique opportunity to use our FlexPay and spread the payments out of three months. And you do have 30 days to do your research. You know, I think a lot of times you hear Mike's stories and they're so amazing. And he is literally one of the world's leading authorities when it comes to collecting precious coins. Um, you say, oh, oh my gosh, that's so cool. But you know, you've got 30 days to definitely check it out. You know, you can look at it, you can examine it, you can go online, you can see what's going on, you can understand it, and then if you don't absolutely love it, you can send it back. But the problem is, is they all are selling out. We cannot keep even these in stock. In fact, Mike, I've not done a coin show with you in a, quite a long time, actually. Uh, Mike's usually pretty regular on our schedule, and he's not. Again, because, you know, he's very much searching around trying to find these unique opportunities, and when he can put together a full show, boom, we put it on the air and we bring it to you. But this stuff is all very, very limited. So here is a unique opportunity, and it's an affordable way to do it. Because look, if you saw, you know, we had the dual set that was almost $400. You know, for me, Mike, this is still in a very affordable way to get one of the most unique and what will become, I believe, the most highly collected coin in the bullion in the American Silver Eagle world, simply because of its unique story behind it. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, it's the new design. I mean, the United States government changed it once in 35 years. They can't change it again for 25 years. The first, look, there's no substitute for the first. And in those first years of issues, and even last years of issues, 
that creates collectability at a at a, at a whole nother level. We call bookends to collect the bookend coins, the first and the last coin. And to some degree, that that first coin always takes on the special significance is what you're really looking at to be able to get the first coin in that series. And so now this is understand the United States government is loath to change the design of American coins. They they just don't do it very often. It's a once in 25 year, once in 50 year opportunity. So for to do this in the Silver Eagle, the backbone of American numismatic collecting, this is, I, I, I cannot overestimate the significance of this for long-term collectability to be able to get that coin. Okay, so now we're going to go to and talk about a kind of another unique uh, idea here. And this is actually an emergency. And I love it when you bring out the, the emergency Silver Eagles. Um, and it's struck at the Philadelphia Mint. So we are talking about 2021. And just for clarification purposes, a limited edition of only 3,600 that will be worldwide. So, Mike, let's talk about this. What was the emergency? What was the problem? Well, the problem is, first of all, we have the wrong coin up there somehow. Oh, it is? Um, this is supposed to be, a, it's, it's the Philadelphia, but it's supposed to be the limited edition of 3,600. That's somehow a coin out of the three-piece set. I don't know how that happened. Oh, three gotcha, because it's a uh, three-piece set. Which you can but it's the same exact coin. Set. Okay, got it. I just, I just don't want anybody to think they're going to get that coin. They're getting the coin that's the limited edition 3600. Okay, and, do we and have so that? I, I, uh, well, you I, go ahead and I want talk, to talk about, about it, Mike, this. and then we'll find it. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yes. I've talked about one of the single most important things in, in coin collecting is grade. The higher the grade, the more it's worth. And there's certain coins where grade is the most significant thing in the coin. And this is that coin in modern American Silver Eagles. Over the course of the two decades that I've been here at HSN, we've graded millions and millions and millions of American Silver Eagles in lots of different mint state coins and proof coins and burnished coins and every possible thing that you can consider. Of all of those series and all of those finishes and all of that stuff that we've done, we have never had a coin that graded as poorly as this coin, the 2021 Philadelphia minted coin. It is what we call a true conditional rarity. It is rare because of Mint State 70 in the Silver Eagle series. There's one other coin from two years ago that's very similar, and I'll talk about that here in just one second. Sometimes there's just something about the way the coins are made. See, this was an emergency issue coin. The United States government figured out very quickly at the beginning of 2021 that they couldn't keep up with the demand of the American Silver Eagle. Uh, and so they asked the, the, the West Point Mint makes all the coins. So they went to the San Francisco Mint and said, can you help out? And they said, yeah, we made some coins. Not that many, but they made some coins sold out instantly. So they go to the Philadelphia Mint. Can you help out? Well, they made half as many as the San Francisco had sold out in five seconds. Once again, only to the authorized purchasers. That's the correct coin. And it and, and sold out. Only, and it only went to the authorized purchasers. It was never sold to the general public. Well, the problem is, is the Philadelphia Mint does not make regular Mint State Silver Eagles. And so for them to do this, they had to hand pack the coins, had to hand pack the coins. And what that means is, is when you introduce the human element, well, you can know what happened. It's just shenanigans. And when it comes down to numismatics. And so what happens is, is the coins all, all the coins have a little ding or a nick or something in there. So much so that the first thousand coins that we sent in, the first thousand coins we sent in, we got 50 Mint State 70s. Oh my. We got 50 Mint State 70s. And that was one of our best batches. Okay. <laughs> The government also charged tremendous premiums also for these Philadelphia minted coins, as did the authorized purchasers. So all of a sudden you have a coin which in Mint State 69, I can sell you unlimited quantities at fantastic prices. And you know why that is? Because <laughs> it got it so bad. <laughs> what I can't sell you, okay, are Mint State 70s in any quantity. So the interesting thing here is, is we show 3,600 in the limited edition. I absolutely positively guarantee there's nowhere near 3,600 of these coins that are going to be made in Mint State 70. 
What we do is when we first make these, we anticipate standard mintages, you know, standard grading. You know, we figure out how many we get, and then we, you know, and then we drop that down a little bit. So, okay, so based on what we normally get, we bought uh, we bought 12,000 coins, okay, 15,000 coins probably in this thing, and we assumed 3,600 of them would be 70. Well, out of those 15,000 coins, it was more like under a thousand. Okay, <laughs> ended up being mid state 70. That's a huge deal. So, for this, it is a tremendous, it is a 100%. It is, it, the fact is, it's a mid state 70. The other coin, and I want to bring this up, is the 2019, they did the proof innovation dollars mm -hmm. and the proof 70 Georgias and the Delaware. And I could sell you for $69. But the Pennsylvania, four thousand dollars oh my because there was no 70s there's like there's the same thing there's like 800 of them in it existence just graded so poorly it just graded so poorly and so the only silver eagle that comes close to this is the 1996 the 1996 was also another awful year for grading that coin by the way in mint state 70 that coin in mint state 70 is going to bring uh probably about six grand oh something like that Hey, right. Mike, let me ask you this question. Why does that say type it's one on it? Why does it what? say type one? Uh, because it's the type one. So they don't have a type it, one if it's type one? It's the issue of the last coin in the series. It's a type one. It's not a type two. Oh, that's so right. So remember, is. we have type one and type it two for is. 2021. We that's did right. both. They, they did both designs. Okay. They haven't done a Philadelphia mid type two. Well, let me ask okay. you this. Our, from our, now on, will it always be type two? Yeah, everything from here on out is type two. That's so interesting. We've, we, I've had this coin. I've had this coin since the beginning of the year, and finally we said, you know, it, it, there's nothing we can do. There's just not any coins. I mean, I have, you know, a couple of hundred coins. We'll give everybody a fantastic deal on them. Uh, we're the only ones that know because we graded so many coins that they're impossible to get in mint state seventy, yeah. and so that's why you need to buy them. It's a conditional rarity. So you think it's going to be kind of that hidden gem? Oh, absolutely, no doubt about it. Because yeah. this coin just doesn't exist in Min State 70. That's the problem. There's so few of these coins in Min State 70. They're all Min State 69. Oh, you man. get tons of them in Min State 69. Right. I bet that makes you sad. Okay, so now we're going <laughs> to... Yeah, very. <laughs> right? You're like, yeah, that one hurt. Okay, now we're going to go to 1921. <laughs> <laughs> this is end of the era Morgan Silver Dollar. Uh, pr pretty special, actually. Uh, we have it on three flex pays for $229.95. And um, yeah, tell us kind of the story behind this uh, end of an era on this one. Pretty. Uh, uh, once I tell you the whole story on this, you'll, you'll be amazed. I'm just I'm just checking quantities on this because we don't have that many. The United States government, this is the 100th anniversary of the Morgan Silver Dollar, of this Morgan Silver Dollar. This is the 1921, the last year of issue of the Morgan Silver Dollars. This coin is 100% original. It's mint state 65, choice gem brilliant uncirculated, one of the highest graded 1921 Morgan Silver Dollars in the market today. We have it for $229.95. I want to talk to you for just a minute about this. Since it's the 100th anniversary, the United States Mint decided to do a commemorative 1921 Morgan silver dollar. They did a CC, an O, a, a P, a D, and an S. Okay? They're going to ship them in October. They're brand new coins. They did about a, they did 175,000 of each coin. They sold them for $85 from the United States Mint. The first one that was released was the CC dollar. You know what it sells for today? It's not even released yet. On a pre-sale, about six hundred dollars. Oh my! They're oh, wow. yeah, they're all about three hundred dollars at minimum. So a nineteen twenty-one P, only twenty twenty-one P. Okay, that it's just made by the United States Mint. I can't sell you that coin for two hundred twenty-nine dollars. The brand newest one, of which there's a hundred and seventy-five thousand, I can't sell you that coin for two hundred twenty-nine dollars. How about going back in time? OK, and getting the original 100 year old coin instead of the coin they just made last week. And it's going to ship about three weeks from now. That's going to be 400, 600, 800, 1000 dollars. Why don't you get the original coin? Now, the other thing about this is, is not only is it original 100 year old Mint State uh, Morgan Silver Dollar, but it's the grade. 
So the vast majority of 1921 Morgans ever made by the United States Mint were, were melted, were destroyed, were, were, were put out to pasture, if you will. Most of the coins are circulated. There's mint state coins, uncirculated coins. There's brilliant choice uncirculated coins. There are mint state 62, brilliant uncirculated coins. Mint state 63. But mint state 65 in Morgan silver dollars is a whole nother ball game. This is gem brilliant uncirculated. When you look at this coin, I know it's 100 years old. It looks like it was made yesterday. It looks like it was made right alongside the, the, the mint line, okay? The mint line that is making the brand new 2021 Morgan silver dollars, only this is the original coin. Look at the lack of bag marks on that coin. That's it's crazy. absolutely stunning. There's one there on the neck and one in the hair, and that's it. Uh, Morgan silver dollars are traditionally absolutely loaded with bag marks. It's a huge, huge, huge uh, uh, problem. So to get this coin at all is one big thing, but to be able to get this coin in gem brilliant uncirculated condition, you take this up two grades, Min State 67, I think you're about, about $10,000 coin. Oh my gosh. Min State 68, you're probably a $100,000 coin is there in any 1921. 70s? No. They made a billion Morgan silver dollars. There's not a single 70. Oh my Not goodness. one. Wow. Mint State 69s in any in any year in any grade start at about a hundred thousand and go up from there. Oh Mint State 68s I think start at a ten thousand for the most common coins of which this is not one of them and go up from there. So Mint State 65 to be able to get that at two hundred twenty nine dollars and ninety five cents you get a historic coin on its hundredth anniversary and they have absolutely positively one hundred percent disappeared from the marketplace because i mean you know everybody saw the 100th anniversary coming right right, right. And so everybody knew it was on the way and so now that we have it here now that we have it available and this is the original coin not reprinted restruck or redone in any way shape or form it is 100 percent the original coin that you're going to have and it is certified min state 65 gem brilliant uncirculated put all those things together I know we're selling a lot of the new coins. Right. Let's not forsake and forget about the original coins that are 100 years old. Well, Mike, uh, let me ask you this. Now are you going to, would it be smart as a collector to get this one and then hope that you've got the 2021 available in a couple months? Yeah, we hope. <laughs> but it's not going to be anywhere near this price. Well, let's see. It's yeah. going to be 400, 600, 800. I don't know what it's going to end up being once it's right. released. But how I significant mean, is that getting both of those together? Oh, uh, it'll be it'll be a huge thing. And this is the one. Understand, this is far rarer than the new one. Okay, by the by, this is far rarer than the new one. And they aren't making these anymore and haven't for a hundred years. This is the original coin. So these coins in that high of a grade, almost impossible to find in the marketplace. I've got, I've been, I was, I was putting these away, stashing these, hoarding them for the last three years. This centennial did not take us by surprise. Right. And so because of that, I've got about 500 coins. I love it. All forever. right, Mike, thank you for a fascinating hour. It was so good to see you as always. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Another big show, 10 p.m. Eastern tonight, 10 to uh, midnight, I think, with Shannon. Oh, nice. Okay, we'll see you then. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. All right, uh, by the way, a couple quick notes. Number one, join me later on today at 4 p.m. for my live show from home. That's on my Facebook page. you also learn details about my 9.30 show tonight uh, that we do all on Facebook only. It's really pretty fun. Check out all of our extra coins on hsn.com. There's a lot of crazy ones we never get to on the air. You'll see some really interesting uh, collectibles in there as well. So I'll be on Facebook at 4 p.m. live later on today and then 9.30 tonight. I'll be coming from the studio again on Facebook live so go to my uh, hsn facebook page and you'll get all the details later on thanks for hanging out with me HSN. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. 
Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. HSN is calling all crafters. It's time to stock up and save big during our craft sale. I'm telling you this because your stuff is actually amazing. It was so easy to use. With low prices on air and at hsn.com. We're going to make something really cute, really fun. We've got everything you need here for a full year of craft. Buckle up, buttercup. Join us for HSN's craft sale Monday at midnight. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900.